Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. It's Monday, the what date? 19th today, I think it might be. Um, 12.30, we've just had lunch. Um, just as an update, Mum's still with us. Um, Dad will be joining us in a couple of days. And then on Thursday, Ian and I are packing up and going off to the Asylum Steampunk. So, that's the Asylum Steampunk Festival in Lincoln. Um, so this vlog will probably stop <laughs> on Wednesday. Or you may get a couple of highlights. And then I'll do a vlog special for the asylum, um, maybe during the week, so you get like a, a different bespoke, like I do, like I do. Anyway, so 12.30, um, I've done all of my website orders that I've come through up to this morning, so I've got those all packed up and in the bag, ready to go. And once again, because it's Monday, this little post office won't be able to cope again not with what I've got so I'm going into the town centre uh, and doing the post there because it's a bigger post office much much bigger post office um, so I'm going to go and park up in one of the supermarkets and then walk into town you've got two hours free parking at the supermarket anyway so which is always good and cheaper. It's Wednesday morning, the 21st of August, and it's 10 past 10 in the morning to be precise. And I'm on my way back through to my dad's house. Mum's still at ours, she's been with us about a week now while dad. Um, tries to sort out the bathroom for her. Not having much luck finding um, a tiler that can come uh, and do it in the right time frame. Um, so mum's been staying with us. So I'm going over this morning to help dad um, clear away the old bath um, and also to put in the new shower tray in readiness for tiling. Once we've done that, then dad's packing his bag and he's coming back with me because we're going to the Asylum Steampunk Festival in Lincoln tomorrow. So Dad's coming over to stay with Mum and look after Mr Bentley for the next four or five days. So because we'll be back on late Monday night next week. Um, so over the bank holiday weekend, the August bank holiday weekend. So yeah, so they'll all have a nice little break, hopefully. Before I go anywhere, I'm going to need to put some fuel in. Whoops. I hope there's no Pennywise the Clown under there. Eh? I hope there's no Pennywise the Clown under there. <laughs> so, as you can see, we've managed to get the shower tray in. It's extremely, extremely heavy, a bit fiddly, but we managed to get it in. So, Dad's just connecting the, the waste pipe now um, so that obviously all the water can drain away. So yes, it was easier than expected. Thursday morning, it's uh, just about 10 to nine in the morning. And I know I'm, I've got the camera facing the other way. It's that Ian and I are out already um, picking up the van for uh, our trip to uh, the asylum. So it's hired a van for the weekend, so this is the place where we've come to pick it up. So I'm not really sure what size van. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be a transporter kind of size, which is 
you know the average kind of size last year we had something a little bit smaller um, but this year I think he's got something a little bit bigger but I'm not 100% sure what um, I'm fresh out the shower my hair's still damp it's not particularly nice morning this morning uh, it's clear but it's a bit there's a nip in the air so hopefully today we'll go smooth without a hitch so we'll get everything done in order and in time to set off around about half past one two o'clock ish for Lincoln but I'll keep you informed obviously now a quarter past three on Thursday afternoon apologies for the bumpiness but I haven't got my phone holder so I'm having to hold the phone up and I'm driving the van machine yes you're driving the, the big boom, there you go. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> So we're in the van, we're all packed. Um, costumes about, all in the back, stock the all in the back, exit. and everything else. So ETA for Lincoln is? Five, nine minutes past four. There you go, so nine minutes past four, and it's currently uh, 14 minutes past three, so less than an hour before we get there. So I will catch up with you again once we hit the town of Lincoln. 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 Take the third exit. So it's a Friday morning. It's a very, very hot day today already. It's not even 11 o'clock and the sun is shining. It's hardly a cloud in the sky and it's roasting hot. So I've decided not to put a long coat on, a frock coat today. Um, I've got a hat in the room. <laughs> Whether it comes on or not today, I don't know. It depends how, how the temperature maintains. So we've got the table all set up, all ready to open. So I will walk you through and you can have a look and see what Ian's table looks like. You're good to say good morning. Hang on. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so, as you can see, chop the block. We need the lights on, I think. Yes, we need to turn the lights on in a moment. We'll do a, Preserve do a batteries for, yes. for the time being. Yes. I'm just walking through trying to tell what things cost. This is the, the big rocket ship. Sold it! Yes, it's already been sold. She's hardly surprising, really. So these were some of the machines that you saw Ian making over the last few bits. Lovely lights. And this year, I've got something new. Ladies' so, handbag. Steampunk ladies' handbags. Right, so with a strap on them. Fully functioning handbags for the ladies. Oh, the gentlemen. Oh, well, yeah. Let's not be sexy, shall we? <laughs> so that is the stand. At the moment. Hopefully, hopefully, by the end of the weekend, it'll be empty. And of course, there's in friend Karen. It is, it is rather warm, isn't it? So, Karen's selling heads today. Bald heads. <laughs> yes, no, she just hasn't got her stock out yet. She's doing tiaras, is it tiaras? Tiaras and hats and jewellery. And hats and jewellery. Jewellery. It's just gone 8 a.m. on Friday morning. Oh, morning. <laughs> just had some chocolate. It's still, yeah, breakfast. He's eating chocolate for breakfast. Um, On the holidays. Yeah, it's, well, it is classed as kind of one of our holidays, isn't it? Um, we were very busy yesterday. Ooh, um, so, very busy. so busy yesterday. I only managed to catch um, a few people in costume. Now, the lady that I, you've just seen the pictures of there, um, it's called Helen. Now the reason I got those two pictures um, yesterday Just rewind a little bit <laughs> somebody, wrote, somebody phoned him while we were Dad filming. phoned while we were just trying to do the vlog so bit Find the battery still on, Moa 
bless him. Um, so, what were we saying? Yes, the, the, the lady in those photographs, Helen, um, the reason I got the pictures was because the staff that she was holding, the Queen of Hearts staff, was built by Ian for her as a special commission. It was. It's got 24 10mm LEDs. If you turn it on in the dark, you are blinded <laughs> by it. There's 12 on each side. It's brilliant. It's, I'm really pleased with it. It's almost like having 24 mini lasers in there. It's that strong. <laughs> She turned it on at the other side of the room, and it's a huge, huge room that we're in, and it blinded Just us at the, at the other side of the room. It was amazing. She's the proper um, Queen of Hearts, isn't she? she Off yeah, the heads. Yeah. Um, so she was absolutely thrilled to pieces with it yesterday. So I just had to get a couple of pictures, um, and I've also got a picture with me, with, with us, with oh, her yeah, as well. Yeah, we have. Um, so I think, I, if, I, if I remember, I'll slot that one in too. But it's a lovely so. day today. It's it's not as warm yet. Hopefully, it's going to be hotter no. today. Yeah, it's going to be another warm one, which is fantastic. I've so got my legs out. He has got his legs out today. They're my comedy legs. <laughs> Nobody will see them when they're stood behind the stand. No. I may as well be on casters. <laughs> like that, Michael Sheen. Michael from Sheen passengers. in Passengers when he's whizzing up and down as the barman. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So I will ad endeavour to try and get some more photos and what, video of people today. What was heartwarming yesterday, there was a little lad, he'd be about seven, and he'd obviously either lost his legs or had an accident, and he had the springs, you know, that the, um, the... The curved ones. Curved spring legs. Like, like the runners have. And they were amazing, and he wasn't shy about it, which is brilliant. No, it was like it was his superpower. It was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Fantastic to see. It was. So, anyway. That's going to be it for this morning. Yep. Um, I will try and catch, like I said, as many people in costume as I can today. And then hopefully on either Sunday or Monday, I'll take a walk up to the castle um, and do some filming up there. See as well. our other friends. Yeah, and see our other friends up there. Um, and then do a show around to what's going on in some of the other places as well. It's show and tell. It's very warm last night. I'm falling yes. asleep here. Yeah. It's red hot. Yes, right. Okay, sorry. Let's wind this up just for now. Okay, bye. See you later. Go up and down a couple of times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are rude. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll have to do a full 360. Are you really pleased? <laughs> Just so everybody knows, what are you drinking? I'm drinking unicorn gin. Unicorn oh, gin. Get in. It's now Sunday morning and I've come down into the town to have a little troll around the castle grounds and show you what's going on down here. Oh wow! 
now Monday and we're coming across to a different building on the university campus and there's a, an exhibition, a steampunk exhibition here and hopefully there'll be a few other bits and pieces to take some pictures of. But once again, it's a very, very, very warm day. It's too warm. Yes. He's reverted back to t-shirts. I don't like this weather at all. It's real on the snow. <laughs> I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you. <laughs>